had the opportunity to actually be the first director of a cry and core facility, which is a unique thing to find in any other institution. And I was, uh, I had this lifetime opportunity actually to form the core from the ground up and be able to serve other researchers in Nebraska and bring this new technique. My research basically has fundamental is fundamented on the study of biological structures using cryo microscopy. So basically, it has a huge impact in, in the scientific community, but also on biomedical research, bioengineering, and also in basic sex sciences in general. So being a scholar in Nebraska means to actually help our students to grow, create great collaborations academically, and also help us to uh, bring breakthroughs uh, locally in the state, in, in the nation, and also in the world. Well, I have experience in cryo-electron microscopy. In particular, I was really interested in understanding function of electron molecules and also how we can make our life better uh, using this structural knowledge. So uh, during my PhD, I actually did a lot of theoretical chemistry to understand how this happened. And I wanted to know how to do it this experimentally. And current electron microscopy was the best technique available at the moment. So I became the manager of a, of a current facility at CU Anxious. After grabbing enough experience, I actually applied for a job as a CRIM director, I saw that as a great opportunity to grow uh, in my career and also to bring CRIM actually to the community here in the state of Nebraska. One of the things that I study are uh, HIV capsid nuclear proteins to try to uh, reduce or use drugs, certain drugs to target HIV virus, for example. Also, I participated in some studies with uh, the COVID spike proteins, try to minimize uh, the effect of COVID later and now here in Nebraska we're actually trying to understand how certain uh, biological proteins work plant uh, plant uh, plant uh, plan, uh, proteins work and actually this can liberate us to have better crops that uh, are able to uh, respond better for changing climate for example <laughs>